Hey everyone, my name is Gabrielle and today we're going to go through the 2025 Leaving Cert Chemistry exam predictions. Before we get started, I'd like to quickly say that you should take everything with a grain of salt because there is nothing that can be absolutely 100% guaranteed to come up on the day of your exam. However, if something surprising does come up, you don't need to worry because throughout the video we'll go through loads of tips and tricks that you can use for your chemistry study. We'll also go through loads of study resources that you can use and everything will be linked in the description box below. And with all that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So the first thing you need to know about the Leaving Cert Chemistry exam is that you're going to see 11 questions on the exam paper, but you need to do a minimum of 8. The exam is broken down into section A for the experiments and section B, and every question is worth 50 marks. And just so you know, you shouldn't spend more than 25 minutes on any one question. Some questions will be really quick to go through and those will only take you around 10 minutes, but then other questions that are a bit tricky should take you around 20. If you find that you're taking too long to complete a certain question, then the best thing you should do is actually just leave it until the end of the exam and try to finish it then. Remember that if you spend too much time on one single question, then that's gonna take away time from all the other questions you also need to do. So the best thing here is just to leave any unfinished questions until the end of the exam if you have some time left over. So moving on to section A, here you'll find three experiment questions from the 28 mandatory experiments. Question 1 is almost always a titration question. Here the general titration procedure can come up as a short question, which can be worth up to 12 marks. Knowledge on how to prepare a pipette or a burette can be really easy marks for anyone. Question 2 is almost always an organic chemistry experiment. However, knowing the organic chemistry experiments is really important because these can come up later in section B. So knowing the organic chemistry experiments can be really beneficial if you want to maximize your marks in section Section A and Section B. And then Question 3 is often based on the remaining experiments, which can include flame tests and ion tests, rate of reaction tests, experiments on water analysis, and calculating the MR of volatile liquid. To make remembering all of these different experiments much easier, we've actually created a playlist of videos that go through each experiment. And I will link this playlist in the description box below. And in the description box, you'll actually find every resource that I mentioned in this video and so be sure to leave a like so that you can find the description box with all of these resources much easier when you'll need it. So moving on to section B, here you'll find eight questions on the remainder of the course. And before we get into each question, I think it's noteworthy to say that organic chemistry can feature a lot in this section of the paper. It is almost guaranteed to come up as three full questions, two parts in question four, and half a question in question 10 or question 11. This means that organic chemistry can make up up to 47% of your exam and so if you want to maximize your marks at the least amount of time then organic chemistry is a topic that you should know really really well. The best way to study organic chemistry is actually to go through past exam paper questions in this topic and on the study clicks website we've actually categorized all of the organic chemistry questions into a neat topic that will make your revision much much easier. Also stoichiometry or the maths of chemistry also features in almost every question which means that it can be worth 20 to 25 percent of your exam. So I would also encourage you to practice these sort of questions. In particular, you should be comfortable with figuring out how many moles are present and also how to convert moles to grams or liters. And if this is something that you struggle with, then we actually have sample solution videos on how to do these sort of questions. I'll also link them in the description box below. With that all being said, here's what you can expect to see in the exam. So starting with question four, here you'll see 12 short questions questions and you need to do at least eight. And for the first two short questions that you get fully right, you'll get an extra point for each question. These questions can come from any part of the chemistry course and your top eight questions will be counted. So you are more than welcome to do an extra question or two if you have the time for it. And then question five is on atomic structure and trends in the periodic table. Question six is usually on organic chemistry featuring fuels, heats of reaction, and also thermochemistry calculations. 
calculations. Question 7 is usually a full question on chemical equilibrium, and question 8 is usually again on organic chemistry, which looks at organic molecules, reactions, and mechanisms. Question 9 is usually on acids, bases, water, and pH calculations. And then finally, question 10 and question 11 are known as half questions, meaning that they feature questions worth 25 marks each. Topics that can come up here include radioactivity, bonding, organic chemistry, stoichiochemistry, and oxidation reduction. So those are all of our predictions. However, if you'd like to know some H1 standard tips and tricks for studying chemistry and getting the most amount of marks possible, I'd also recommend for you to read our H1 guide on how to get a H1 in chemistry. It is full of tips and tricks from H1 students and is definitely worth checking out. Like all the other resources mentioned in this video, it'll be linked in the description box below. We will be making loads of other prediction videos like this, and to make sure you're not going to miss them, be sure to subscribe to our channel, and also check out our predictions playlist down in the description box below. We've already covered subjects like Irish, English, and maths, so those are worth checking out. I really hope this helps, and best of luck with the chemistry study!